as part of the setting up development environment for spark based applications using scala as programming language first we need to set up scala and before setting up the scala we need to uh, have a brief understanding about what scala is all about scala is a compiler based programming language and it compiles into byte code which can be interpreted with jvm as scala is a jvm based compiler programming language we have to first have jre or jdk unless you have jdk um, using scala and uh, using spark uh, is not possible so first and foremost thing what you need to do before setting up the environment is to validate whether you have jdk or not on your windows pc if not you have to set up jdk and then you have to take it further the way you can validate whether you have jdk or not is by going to command prompt and running command java c hyphen version and if it is complaining that java c is not recognized as an internal or external command then you have to set it up first and also the compatible version for scala and spark as of today um, with respect to jdk is 1.8 so if you already have 1.9 jdk then you have to undo it and you have to have 1.8 version that being said the way you can set up jdk is you can go to the browser and then say install jdk on windows go to this one uh, microsoft windows installation 64 bit oracle okay not this one let me search once again install jdk 1.8 on windows 10 you can click on this let us see yeah this is the one okay so let me take you back and show you so i have searched for install jdk 1.8 on windows 10 and you can scroll down and the second url is the one which you need to click once you click you need to accept license agreement you can see here there are two windows versions one is 86 x86 and the other one is x64 x86 is nothing but 32 bit um, version of jdk uh, so if your windows operating system is 32 bit probably you, you might have to install this if your windows operating system is 64 bit which should be the case to set up uh, our development environment we have to choose this one and then click on it and it will download the jdk for you once the jdk is downloaded successfully you can expand this go to show in folder and then you can double click on this yes and then click on next click on next so i'm performing the typical installation so i'm just uh, click on next next whenever it is prompting once it prompts this you can click on next now you can click on close and the java setup is done you can validate that by going to cmd and type java if it gives the usage that means java is now accessible you can also get version of java by typing java hyphen version command 